Good morning everyone. This is teacher Joanna and I will be your teacher in mathematics. Now before we start our lesson, let us first have this drill. Are you ready? Okay, very good. So everyone, 4 divided by 2, 6 divided by 2, 8 divided by 2, 10 divided by 2, and 12 divided by 2. Everyone, 4 divided by 2 equals 2, 6 divided by 2 equals 3, 8 divided by 2 equals 4, 10 divided by 2 equals 5, and 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Altogether, 4 divided by 2, 6 divided by 2, 8 divided by 2, 10 divided by 2, and 12 divided by 2. Very good. So now, I'm going to show you an equation. Are you ready? Okay, very good. And then, we are going to answer. Okay? So the first equation is 3.2 times 2. So here, we are going to, very good, multiply. We are going to multiply 3.2 times 2. 2. Okay, so the answer is 4.6. <coughs> okay, so here is the next e equation, 2.0 times 3. So we are, uh, again, we are going to multiply here. Okay, so what are we going to multiply? 2.0 times 3. So what's the answer? The answer is 6. Now let me ask you a question. What operation did we use? Very good. We used multiplication. Okay. So what um what numbers did we um multiply? Very good. Decimal numbers and whole numbers. Now today we are going to talk about multiplying mixed decimals by whole numbers and mix decimals. So what are we going to talk about today? Multiplying mix decimals by whole number and mix decimals. Okay? So first, I'm going to show you a video. Okay? So are you ready to listen? Very good. So let us watch this video. Okay? So here is the video. So you have to listen. Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply a whole number by a decimal. So let's jump right into number one, where we have 14 times 6 tenths. And the three steps that we're going to take in order to solve these two examples correctly are at the top of your screen. Okay. And step one says, Remove, remove the decimal. decimals within that problem. Yes. And we're going and to rewrite the problem without those decimals. So let's rewrite number one. Okay, first, uh, those are the steps. Number six. one, remove so the decimal. Number two, multiply. They and number three, place the decimal in, the problem, in answers. Number two, we multiply or solve just like we would any other multiplication problem involving whole numbers. So six times four is 24. 6 times 1 is 6, plus that 2 is 8. So we get an answer of 84, 84. but we're not quite done yet. Yes, Step we're not 3, quite we need to place the decimal in our answer. Okay. And we do that by this looking at the original the problem decimal. and seeing how many digits are to the right or are behind a decimal, however you like thinking about it. And we have 1, this 6 here. And I like circling any digits to the right of a decimal or behind. Um, that way I make sure I include everything. So we have one digit behind a decimal. That means our answer has to have one digit behind the decimal. So this four will be our one digit, and we can place our decimal right there. So we have eight and four tenths as our answer. Another way of thinking about it we had 84 as our answer, so for every whole number, the decimal is at the end, so we can bring our decimal in once, that way it gives us one digit behind the decimal. Or you can just, um, how I did right here, kind of counted how many digits I needed and placed the decimal accordingly, whatever works best for you. 
So on to number two here, where we have seven times five and 22 hundredths. First step, remove any decimals and rewrite the problem. So we get seven times 522. Now, when it comes to multiplication, we want the number with more digits on top. We can solve it like this, but it's much easier to have the number with more digits on top. So we can actually do 522 times 7. And that's because multiplication is commutative. You'll get the same answer either way, 7 times 522 or 522 times 7. So now we multiply. Step 2, we multiply and solve here. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 2 is 14, plus that 1 is 15. 7 times 5 is 35, plus 1 is 36. So we get 3,654. But that's not our final answer. We need to place the decimal. So let's look at our original problem, see how many digits are behind or are to the right of a decimal. And we have one, two. So that means our answer needs to have two. We can think of it like this, bring it in one, two. That will give us two digits behind the decimal. Or you can go one, two, and place your decimal there. Either way, whatever works best for you, and we will rewrite our final answer without any marks under it, and we get 36 and 54 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how you multiply a whole number by a decimal. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace. Okay, so that's how you multiply decimals, okay, by who, um, to a whole number or mixed decimals. First, you're going to remove the decimal, and then you're going to multiply, and then you are going to place the value in the answer, okay? Do you understand me? Okay, again, remove the decimal. Next multiply and then place the value or place the decimal in your answer do you understand me okay so now i'm going to give you an example okay so here is an example based on a study a person contributes about 0 0.5 kilograms of trash daily here in metro Manila. 0 0.5 kilograms is equals to one half kilogram. Okay, so how much trash does a person produce in a week? So the question is, how much trash does a person produce in a week? Okay, so we can represent the amount of trash produces daily through pictures. And this is the picture now remember that there are seven days in a week okay remember that the question is how many okay so the question is how much trash does a person produce in a week so we have 0 0.5 kilograms per day and then there are seven days in a week. Therefore, we are going to multiply 0 0.5 times 7. 0 0.5 is the kilograms a person produced in a day. But we are asking of how much trash does a person um, produce in a week. So we have seven days in one week. So the solution will be... 0 0.5 kilograms times 7. Okay, 0 0.5 kilograms times 7 is equals to 3.5 kilograms. Okay, so teacher, why is there 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.5? Okay, so remember that 0 0.5 is 1 half kilogram. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 half plus 1 half equals 1 kilogram. 1 half plus 1 half again equals 1 kilogram. 
1 half plus 1 half equals 1 kilogram and the remaining is 0 0.5. So we're just going to add 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 0.5. Then the answer is 3.5 kilograms. Okay? Very good. So I have here another um, example. Des would like to give... 1.25 kilograms of mangoes to each of her friends. So, how many friends does this have? Four friends. How how um how many kilograms of mangoes does this wants to give to her friend? 1.25 kilograms each. Okay, each one of them will get 1.25 kilograms of mangoes from this because this will give 1.25 kilograms of mangoes to each of her friends. Now, the equation is or the solution will be 1.25 times 4. So, 1.25 times 4 is equals to 5. Do you understand me? Okay, so that is how we multiply decimals to a whole number or mix decimals first we're going to remove the decimal and then we're going to multiply and then we're going to place the decimal in the answer so i have here a question how can you multiply mix decimal to whole number or mix decimal okay the first step is that we're going to remove the decimal and then we're going to multiply and then we're going to place the decimal in the number. That's how we multiply mixed decimals to whole number or mixed decimal as well. Okay, so what did you learn today? Today we have learned about how to multiply mixed decimals to whole number or mixed decimal as well. So in multiplying... Mix decimals to whole number or mix decimal. First, we remove the decimal and then we multiply and then we place the decimal in the answer. Okay, so if you really did understand the lesson, then let us proceed to your practice exercise. Your practice exercise will be answer focus page 180. And here is your evaluation. Answer take a leap letter A page 180 now don't forget to do your practice exercise and your evaluation because i'm going to check it do you understand me and here is your assignment answer take a leap letter b page 181 okay so don't forget to do your assignment so thank you for listening see you in the next video Bye bye